Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another Auntie Haul video. Basically what I do is I do every month I'll go through and see all of the new beauty things launching, whether it be hair, clothes, makeup, skincare. And I just give you a list of things that I'm just not interested in and why. So if you're excited to see what I'm not buying this month, then go ahead and keep watching. Also, if you guys have noticed, I have color to my background. It's a work in progress, so if it looks kind of crazy, it's because I'm working on it and I'm not very, like, tech friendly, lighting, like, all this is new to me since I started YouTube, so I'm just kind of going with it, but I love this, like, pink purple vibe because it kind of goes with the purple of my shirt, too, so let me know what you guys think about the colorful backgrounds, too. Um, I like the white ones, obviously. I like my wardrobe. I'm just trying to switch it up so it doesn't get boring, you know what I mean? I will pop the items right here on the side of the screen somewhere so you can kind of see it close up, but I will be referencing my phone to see the items that I have put in my collection of Auntie Haul. All right, so we're going to get right into it. The first thing that I am not buying is the new ColourPop Your Favorite Princesses Super Shock Shadow Set. So it is this shadow set right here. Um, I think that the colors are absolutely beautiful. I am actually not the biggest fan of these Super, sh super Shock shadows. Uh, they tend to dry out before I get a chance to actually use them. I've bought a couple of them and I wound up tossing them out. So I just not interested in buying them, but I do think that they're really pretty colors. I will say that. And as always, ColourPop is very inexpensive, but it's just not something I'm interested in as a product. So the next thing is the Slime Light hologram hot liquid highlighter by freckle um I think that this is it's kind of weird to me I'm not gonna get it because I don't want duochrome colors as a highlighter now is it definitely something I could probably put on my eyelids or something like that sure is like a shadow but it is technically a highlighter so I'm gonna pass on those because I just I only use very bland very normal shimmer highlighters I don't use duochrome I don't use colorful highlighters I think the most colorful highlighter I have is like rose gold so I'm gonna pass on those and then we have the Huda Beauty wild collection her new obsessions um the wild is what I guess they're called so there are four of them coming tiger python chameleon and jaguar if I'm being honest I am intrigued by python which is like the green blue neon -y, greenish yellow but the rest of them, I'm just not here for. Um, just more nudes, more cool tone smokies. I mean, her formulas are always fantastic. They are beautiful palettes, so you don't have a lot of her small obsession ones. They're only $29 and they're really, really nice. But I just, I have a lot of her small obsessions and I have ones that look similar. So I'm just really interested in the Python and maybe the Chameleon, maybe. But the Tiger and the Jaguar, I'm definitely not interested in. The next thing is another ColourPop launch. Oh, Coo 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 ColourPop launches every freaking minute. All right, so this is the New York Y2K collection. It comes with the 5 p.m. plastic shadows, some Super Shock shadows, some Super Shock blushes, lip crayons, and some So Juicy lip gloss, which I do love the So Juicy lip gloss formula. I just, this screams very kid makeup and kind of like very cheap. So I'm just not interested in it. They're very pastel, which is very big right now, pastel, but I'm just not here for that. So the next thing is the Urban Decay Cyber Palette. I'm not buying that. I'm not buying it. Listen, if you guys get it and like it winds up being like whoo out of this world, you need to come back here and let me know and be like, Jamie, you're missing out. You need this palette. However, I have found that time and time again in the past couple of years, Urban Decay has been just quite bit of a letdown so anytime they come out with anything I'm just like mm, no so this one there's not very much information I will say that trend mood had a picture I don't even know that urban decay has a picture of it on their page I'm looking yes they do they have like a whole little video of cyber whatever I guess I don't know all I know is I'm just not interested in it. It doesn't look very pigmented. It does look like there's some duochrome situations, but we'll see, we'll see. If you guys tell me that it's like really awesome, I might go and get it, but 
offhand first impression no uh the next thing i'm not interested in is the cherry coke by morphe so i did not get any of the coke ones i know they've done it twice the original coke launch with morphe and then the second coke coke launch with morphe and then this one this palette this palette reminds me of a Too Faced palette the way the tin is and the way the layout is like morphe you look like you're trying to be a copycat but I, it doesn't matter like it's whatever right it's just an eyeshadow palette but it definitely gives me Too Faced vibes um it will be more uh, affordable yeah more affordable than Too Faced but it's just not I have red palettes and I really think that you just only need like one all red palette and then you're good and this has quite a, a lot of reds and pinks and some browns but for the most part it's very pinky red toned so the next thing is and this one has already launched and I did not get it I will not get it, it is the new Kylie collection her 24k birthday collection um one the palette was $60 okay I think the most expensive palette I've ever bought from Kylie is like 48 bucks I'm pretty sorry I could be wrong but I'm pretty certain the most expensive one I've ever bought was 48 bucks and it looked more expensive than this this the way that the lining of the gold of the palette it looks so cheap and so just thrown to I would not a fan I'm not a fan I think the only thing I, I thought was pretty interesting was the lip serum but I wasn't gonna go out of my way to pay $17 for a lip serum um, other than that the body glow I don't put liquid shimmer on my body I don't do anything like that so I just passed on this collection I know that there was a full collection for $191 and then a PR box for $350 what I think she signed them I th I'm pretty sure it said signed so I can understand if it was signed okay because it's like that's the name that's you know what I mean she's a celebrity people adore her but if it's not signed I'm not paying you 350 just because it all comes into a box like that's insane to me so I just none of it really stood out to me the lip lacquers were nice but I have a lot of her lip glosses that are similar to those colors and I just I was not a fan um there's a highlight everything or some shit it's like hold on let me see it's everything highlighter or something like that and it's just not all over gloss that's what it's called for the eyes face and lips I don't I'm not putting that it's like literally just looks like a gold lip gloss I'll put it here like a gold thick lip gloss which I don't even want that on my lips so we're moving on I didn't get that one I am doing I am obviously collecting more and more of her stuff and I will be doing swatches of her new stuff and old stuff periodically throughout the months as she's relaunching her old colors as I'm switching them out so as I get them so it may be multiple videos it may not be all one because I think if I have to wait you're going to be waiting for a long time but I do want to get you guys consp comparisons as quick as I can because I have found out that the colors the shades are not identical so I'm trying to get those out to you guys as soon as I can but the next thing that I decided I wanted to add into my auntie haul because Desi is part of the beauty community um a big part of it is her new sunglasses oh. so I think they're cute let's start there $85 for these sunglasses I think is outrageous and maybe I'm being like too harsh or dramatic or whatever but to me I think that $85 is just really 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 pricey for sunglasses from a not name brand and I just feel like I can get cute sunglasses from Target and Kohl's and other places that are not gonna cost me $85 so that's why I put that in there and then the next thing is Violet Voss their Care Bearer palette I didn't even know Violet Voss was still making stuff if we're being honest I haven't used Violet Voss in like forever I think the last thing I got that was Violet Voss was a boxy charm palette and it was like the holy grail which I did love I did love that palette one of my favorite I still have it no I don't still have it I gave it to my girls but it was a really it was a decent palette I just didn't know that they were still making palettes and I'm just not I'm not interested so the next thing is from Too Faced <laughs> Too Faced they're always in my auntie haul some way somehow but this one is like a big in my auntie haul okay a hundred and five dollars 
for their perfume. First of all, $105. If you pay $15 more, give or take, you can get a YSL perfume, which is one of the top of the line perfumes, okay? And it smells amazing if I, oh, it's so good. Okay, there are so many perfumes that you can get $10 more expensive or 10, pay $10 more and they're 10 times the quality. I would never pay Too Faced $105 for a perfume. $40, $60, like that is why I do like KKW fragrance. They're pretty good. Like they smell really nice, the ones that I've got, and they're inexpensive. They're like 30 to $60 because she knows that that's where her price range is. Who to, mm, mm, we're moving on. We're moving on. So the next two things are actually from the same company. They're both from KVD Beauty. It is the new eyeshadow palette, a mini eyeshadow palette that she's coming out with. And then it is liquid or cream, sorry, Mod Con Liquid Gel Contour. I don't, I'm, I'm confused honestly as a whole as to what that is the the mod con liquid gel contour i'd have to play around with it maybe at the store and kind of see but if it's a liquid contour or a cream contour i'm just not into it but you put the word gel in there and i'm just like ooh, is it gonna be sticky like what is what is it so i'm not interested in that one but to be honest if i'm being fair i don't really contour I, it's not what I do. I bronze for the most part, but that's about it. And then the mini eyeshadow palette I'll put here. It's just very boring. If I'm being honest, there's one color in there that's kind of like a multicolor that I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. But the rest of them are very, very bland and played out and very boring and very lackluster. Like they just don't bleh. They're just bleh. That's all, bleh. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. It's just bleh. There's literally nothing more I could say about that situation. But that is all of the things I have collected or seen that I am not interested in buying. Now, I will tell you, I have been on the Trend Mood page before we close this video out. There are a lot of things that I want to buy. So if you guys want to see a video of what I am buying or what I want to buy or what I plan to buy, like a wish list situation, comment down below and let me know because I would love to tell you because there's a lot of things that I'm just like, mm, I like that. So uh, let me know down below what you guys, if you guys want to see like a, what would it be? Not an anti haul wish list and buying haul. I don't know what it would be called, but if you guys want to see the list of things in the beauty community that I do plan on buying and why, then always comment down below and let me know. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had some fun finding out the things that I'm not interested in buying. Let me know down below what is a one thing one thing launching or has launched recently that you're just not interested in buying and why i love to have conversations down in the comment situation i love when you guys have conversations with each other like it's just such a fun community-based situation and i have so much fun reading your comments and as always guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up for me and i will see you guys on the next one bye